This is the local and national news from Fabulous 103 FM, and it would be fabulous if you subscribed. It's easy. Click the subscribe button, and at the same time, click the like button too. With several news articles recently reporting on corruption within authorities here, the National Police Chief has ordered the arrest of 17 who engaged in corruption before people even got their uniforms. It seems that they sold entrance exam questions and answers to prospective candidates. Last year saw over 1,100 people apply to join the police via the entrance exam, under 1,000 passed, with most of those who failed now accused of cheating. As in previous years, cheats are banned for life from reapplying. And going forward, plans are in place to reduce the chances of candidates getting the heads up ahead of time. The Centre of Disaster Prevention and Mitigation, with the assistance of the military and local fire departments, are working to douse a huge forest fire in Nakon Nayok's forested Khao Lem area. Despite rains in many areas, others remain tinder dry, and one spark, discarded cigarette or crofter's fire, can cause a disaster. At the wildlife site yesterday, teams were working to create fire breaks to prevent the spread, but with winds around, the inferno is expected to continue for some while. A Swedish man, still living with his parents in his home country, was sentenced there yesterday to four and a half years in jail after a joint Swedish-Thai investigation revealed that he had accessed youngsters via social media and persuaded them to divest themselves of clothing before sending him photographs and videos. That's bad enough for sure, but he later uploaded them to a social media group which charges members a fee to access it. Thai police alerted the Swedes to his activity and it's hoped that authorities will check out the thousands of so-called users globally details of whom were stored on the website, which offers some 75,000 pictures and 20,000 video clips. At Bangkok's main airport, plans put on hold due to zoning regulations have been approved by the Interior Ministry for the so-named Airport City. Over 700 rye of farmland is to see roads and infrastructure added before the erection of buildings, which will become a hub for monitoring the quality of exports a distribution centre for export goods and warehousing. Once it's finished, AOT predicts up to 50% increase in airbound haulage. A 24-year-old man arrested for spray-painting graffiti on the exterior wall of the Temple of the Emerald Buddha in the capital on Tuesday evening now faces charges that could add up to seven years behind bars. The temple is within the Grand Palace complex and teams were quickly allocated to remove his work from the otherwise spotless perimeter, leaving it as it was by day's end. Storms hit much of Thailand, including our own region yesterday, bringing flooding and high winds to many areas, but, as the map showed, they cowered away from the city of Pattaya, bringing us little in the way of respite and instead just a light breeze. As the black clouds gave our region the swerve, all we heard was the distant thunder. For others, it wasn't so easy, and a warning remains in place. For most regions, including our own, to expect storms at any time through to Monday. Meanwhile at home and in Pattaya, Terminal 21 hosts a kids' fair through to the 9th of April, with bargains on clothings for children, along with sports and fun events, and free prize giveaways for the youngsters. Everything from sports goods through to toys are on special offers in many areas, and certainly worth a visit. And the newly branded Bay Fear Hotel in Na Jom Tien launches this weekend welcoming visitors and locals to enjoy what's on offer. Luxury Rooms Apart, a high-end Italian restaurant, along with a beach cabana bar, both promise discounts and specials to all. From this weekend on, mention Fabulous 103 FM when you book or arrive at the Bayfier Hotel for an instant discount on meals and more. Smog levels were way down again in our region this morning thanks to the winds seeing us way down in the green from early morning. And with the Met Office promising highs of 32, dropping down to 26, a slight chance of rain and breezes. Local and national news today from Fabulous 103 FM and Fabulous Patia Media Group. And to get a notification every time we release another bulletin or programme, like and subscribe to our channel, Fabulous Patia Media Group, by using the link below.